hello and welcome. This tutorial will be about how to build complex queries with Juke. Juke is J O O Q, Java Object Oriented Querying, and it is what you can call an ORM that is object relational mapper, except that, unlike many ORMs out there, it has understood that the R is more important than the O. So what it means is that you can use Juke to build SQL queries via its API. And we will focus here on an application that I developed, which uses a Juke back and H2 back in the database and Juke to query it. If you see the figure here, 22,141,675 nodes, that is the number of lines in this table. So it's pretty simple, no columns are null, id is the primary key, we do also have an index on the parent, which reference is the mattress table, but we won't be using it. And the query we're interested in is to obtain this graph. This is a parsing tree we're talking about, and each match here has a level which is the depth of the tree. Now it has a start index and an end index, which may spawn several lines, as we see here. This matcher, in fact, matches several lines, and this one does nothing. And we want to query to obtain the maximum tree depth by line for a given line. Here, we are in line 1501 1, out of, well, you see the number itself. So, this is a SQL query, and the SQL query is built with Juke. So, what we are guaranteed to have is that the end index is always greater than or equal to the start index. You can have empty matches. What is guaranteed is also that, well, no columns are null. So we can rely on that, and we do have, although they are not created here, they are created by Drupal themselves, we do have indices and start index and end index, which are created, which are created here. Now how to build a query? Well, we need several things. First of all, we need to ensure that all matches fall within the range of lines we want. Here we display 50 lines, we start at line 1501, we go up to 1550. So, the text, we only have the indices, so the text needs to be wrapped into lines. Now this does is that the input buffer here, has a get line range. We get the start line, we get the rental lines, we create a range, by the way, this means that the end is exclusive. So we get our list of index range, and a range has a start and an end. So the first thing is to create the global condition, only the matches we want here, the index condition. So we get the start index, we get the end index, and we build our condition. Basically, read it as SQL, where those the start index less than our end index, and those the end index greater than or equal to the start index. And we have our condition here. We select from table nodes, and we want the max of the level field dsl.max. Now, this field is built upon the different lines. What it will do is generate a case statement and return the line according to where the matcher was active. And this is our result. Let's go to this function because this is the interesting part. This is our start line, 
this is our list of ranges. We are guaranteed that, well, its length is that of the wanted lines. We are guaranteed that it has more than one element. So we use this because you cannot use case in Java. So it called it decode. So first of all, when the measure is active this range, well, with the line number and then the cycle over the range and add the condition that it is active this range and therefore what you return is the correct line number and finally we give it a name and active this range means the start index of this measure is less than the end of the range and its end index is greater than equal or equal to the start of the range. Therefore what this will generate is basically an SQL like this. Sorry. Case. As you can see from the graph, here it's 50 lines, so you have in fact 50 statements like that, all in one column, and the column is 22 million lines long. Well, look at how simple it is, because select of the field we just built here, which with our 10, 25 or 50 were a statement, with an alias, we group by it and we put the values in the map. As a decoration, because this is also called when we don't have the database fully loaded yet after 22 million entries is long, if there is no data, we put zero. And this is what it gives. And to prove that it's fast enough, let's go to the previous lines. Remember that this is a 22 million row table. And now, well, just go to that with Hibernate. You know, that's the thing with Duke. It's an ORM which has understood that the R was more important than the O. And you can't build queries like this with Duke. You cannot with Hibernate. 